what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QVO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. In today's video, we are going to be showing you guys a custom subcompact build we have made using components from our buddies over at Parker Mountain Machine, Norsel Machining, and Lakeside Gripworks. I'm talking about our new super flat shooting custom SIG P365. Now, as always, I like to show you guys how I go about getting these products in for review. You may remember last year, I was fortunate enough to attend the Surefire Battle of the Bills event in North Carolina. It was during that time that I got to try out the new Surefire XSC Lite on a SIG P365. Now, I have to admit, I wasn't initially a fan of the 365, but after I ran it at this event, I started thinking that I might need to pick one up. Then I came across the Parker Mountain Machine Micro Comp and Barrel and immediately thought of how well our custom P320 build did. So I figured why not do the same with this compensator, a 365 slide from our buddies over at Norso, and a really cool custom stipple grip module from Lakeside Gripworks to match that Norso Reptilia slide. I reached out to the companies and let them know about the video that I was thinking about putting together, and they were all happy to hop on board with the idea. I threw on the Holosun 507K since the Norso Reptilia slide was cut for it. Um, lastly, I received the new Surefire XSC weapon light after attending the media event, so I figured adding it to this gun would make it a pretty sweet setup for a compact EDC gun. Okay, with that out of the way, let's do a quick breakdown on all the specs on this setup. For the setup, I went with the P365XL grip module that was stippled by Lakeside Gripworks. Um, Lakeside does a great job with the exact right amount of texture and clean lines. The grip feels great in the hand and additional stippling under the trigger guard is a great reference point for my support hand. It also pairs really well with the Reptilia slide from Norso in regards to aesthetics. Speaking of Norso, I picked up their Reptilia slide which comes with serrations and windows that are both very functional and aesthetically pleasing. In addition to that, the Reptilia slide is cut for the 507K footprint so I definitely had to put that one on. I dig it since it's very minimal and uses a metal housing and glass window. The dot is very easy to pick up and keep in sight when firing the small compact setup and again I had to add that new Surefire XSC light. The light has a rechargeable battery that can quickly detach. It has 350 lumens for output and is available for the P365, the Springfield Hellcat, and the new Glock 43 or 48 MOS versions with the accessory rails. Now let's talk about the micro comp from Parker Mountain Machine. Simply put, this thing just works. Um, it's no news to anyone that I like compensated guns, but shooting this tiny setup with their micro comp just feels like cheating. I definitely noticed a big difference from when I shot the 365 at the Surefire event to running this one on the range for this video. I'm able to track easier with the red dot due to the reduction in muzzle rise, which allows for fast follow-up shots, especially while shooting on the move. I think we can all agree that this is a very desirable feature in an EDC gun. The last piece of the puzzle is the new Surefire XSC weapon light, which at the time of this video should be hitting shelves in more quantities as Surefire made an announcement today. In this particular setup, the XSC controls were very easy for me to use. Uh, my support thumb can easily access the controls for momentary function while firing. Since the recoil is minimal with the Parker Mountain Machine Comp, I'm able to keep my thumb pressed on the XSC controls, which keeps the light activated while shooting. I found this to be difficult while I was shooting this setup at the Surefire event due to the gun having more recoil without the compensator. My thumb would keep slipping off of the controls from the recoil, so I just ended up using the constant on feature. All right, let's move on to the range portion now. I always like to get you guys the first rounds on camera so you guys can see our initial reactions. So here's that footage now. All right, Paul's first shots on the P365XL custom build. Go ahead and just give me uh, six rounds in the center, bud. <laughs> I'm assuming that's good. There's one hole. <laughs> Sheesh! It's nice. All right, I have not shot this thing in a while. We built this up, like I said, uh, a few months ago. Finally have everything we need to get here on the range with it. But uh, you did five rounds in Center X. I'm gonna do five rounds in the black number six. Uh, was the Hollow Sun 507K pretty much good? Hell yeah. Okay, it was on point. All right, here we go. Threw six. Yeah, I threw one, but for the most part, this little, uh, what was that, one and a half inch circle from five yards away. Man, this thing is flat, so 
You guys all know I love compensated guns. Uh, when you are running a single stack subcompact like the P365 or the XL, uh, just the comp makes a world of difference with these super small guns in my opinion. Anyway, let's uh, get back on the range. Now of course we did a side by side using different grains of ammunition so that you guys could all see the difference in recoil among the different bullet weights. All right, I have Paul loaded up here with a 12 round mag. The first four rounds are gonna be 124 grain. The second four rounds will be 147. And the last set of four is going to be 115. Paul, nice cadence of fire on you. Okay, now. Now is the 147s. And lastly will be the 115s. All right, Paul, after shooting those 12 rounds of the different grains, what, anything anything that you can notice? I noticed uh, a definite difference in 147. I did feel like it was a little snappier out of this gun, but it wasn't anything I couldn't control. But honestly, the recoil impulse is very, very standard. This does a lot for vertical muzzle climb. And again, that, that hollow sun 407, or 507K, I'm sorry, is perfect on this little gun. You're able to keep the dot in the uh, field of view? Never left the window. Cool. Now, I want to answer a couple of questions that I know I will get down below in the comments. The holster that we were using for this video is our Wingman Appendix Rig, and it's wrapped in the new Silver Dragon Kimono Fabric Overlay. Uh, this option is available on our website. I also want to touch on the availability of the Compensator from Parker Mountain Machine. Um, it has been out of stock for a while, much like a lot of other products in our industry at the time. Um, I have talked with Jared over at Parker Mountain Machine, who has told me that they are working on a new version of this Compensator that will be released to market in the near future. I'd highly recommend following them on social media to stay in the loop if you're interested in building this setup. Uh, I know that I am definitely interested in the new version of this compensator seeing how flat it keeps recoil already. Last but not least, I want to give a big shout out to Gun Mag Warehouse for helping us out with a few extra P365 mags so reloading wasn't so bad while on the range. The guys over there are awesome. They have every mag that you can think of and they're always willing to help out and support with our channel so we thank you guys. Appreciate it. Other than that guys, we had a great time shooting this video and we hope it helps some of you out there who enjoyed the original P320 video but wanted something more compact to put together. Again, we want to thank all the companies involved in helping us make this video. Parker Mountain Machine, Norso, Lakeside Gripworks, and Surefire. We appreciate the support with our channel and we hope it drives some traffic your way. Thanks everyone for watching the video. If you did like the video, please give us a thumbs up as that does help us out. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you want to support our content even more, please check out that Patreon link down below. Our Patreon members get first access to new content, new gear, special discounts, and giveaways. They are a big reason why we can continue to create the content for you guys all to watch. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you in the next video. Guys, a cough oh, off. <laughs>